Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I come up with a very interesting scenario on the paginated report or the report builder report. So here my requirement is when I run the report, right? I have four columns here and I have a uh, parameter where I am seeing all the columns like ID, name, department and salary. This option I am giving to the user that they can choose whichever column they want to see on the report. Okay, so means it means that suppose they have selected name and salary. And if you click on the view report, they want to see on the name and salary only. That's it. They don't want to see the ID and the uh, department. So this option I am planning to give to the user so that they can get the benefits. And this is a typical real-time requirement. This option uh, is quite easy when you move it to the Power BI reports and all. But this is slightly tricky when you trying to do in a paginated reports. So let's see the solution here. So for the solution, what I know, we'll use a function called array dot index of. So that will give you index number of each whatever is selected. Okay. So for that, I need to first create, just follow the steps. So I'm saying I need to create the column groups and advanced mode so that I can get each and every item. Okay. So this is my ID. This is my name. This is my department and this is my Salary. so that each column I can provide a hidden statement for that based on what condition so first select the ID from the column group then we have a property called hidden okay so instead of writing false and true I will go for an expression here okay so before jumping into that I have created a parameter here just I want to show you the parameter here so this is basically a uh, normal parameter or uh, multiple value parameter in the available values, I have kept an ID, name, department, and salary. In the value also I kept the same ID, name, department, and salary. And the default values I have kept all the values should be selected when you run the first time the report. That's it. I have done. Okay. Makes sense. Now I will go to the main column group static property and click on this and go for the expression. Okay. So now I will write equals to <coughs> array dot index. I should be capital O should be capital and I will select my parameters and instead of the first value I will select this and this is the first time selecting for the ID so I will say ID okay and it should not be less than zero this is the condition I need to give it to for each and every item okay now okay expression is done now let's go to the name property Okay, then go for expression, release it, state it, and instead of changing here ID, I will say name. And you make sure the case sensitivity here, whatever you written on the parameter, you should do it. So, first is done, second is done, go for the third. So, now I will say expression here, and I will copy paste again. <coughs> Sorry, I am taking copy paste way, but you can write your own. So, department. In zero, the last one is my expression, and I would say salary. Right? Salary. Okay. All right. Now I have done it. <coughs> now let's see, run the report and see the output, the magic. Hopefully everything should work. Now, uh, when you start up the report, everything will be selected. Now I'm under unselecting. I will say name and salary. This two. That's it, and click on the view report. See, I have the magic now. Name and salary is coming rather than other report. So, if I say name, department, and salary, okay. So, this is the way we can hide the columns through the parameter choices. Okay, hope you like this video. Please, please, please do subscribe to the channel for more interesting content like this real time scenarios. And from the Monday, as I uh, declared on the last video also there will be a python series also coming up along with the power bay for paginated report whatever the stuff is going on in this channel it will it is still going on along with another playlist will start from the python from scratch to end okay so please do subscribe again and thanks for watching and have a nice day guys